players are a little more away from the fans and uh, they don't get real close with the fans. I, I think that's what makes college football special. But the robberies also, um, I mean, there's just not big robberies like that in the NFL. I mean, there, I know there's certain robberies, but like us in Auburn or us LSU, Tennessee, I mean, it, the list goes on. So um, it's definitely special. Uh, I got family members that are LSU fans, so uh, trust me, I, I hear it from all over, from fans down here or family members that you know want to talk about LSU. But uh, it's definitely, definitely a special um, tradition and rivalry between us. Yeah, when you guys are working out, are you thinking about hey, you know, the honey badgers over there talking noise? You know? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not worried about somebody talking noise. Uh, I'm just trying to compete with myself. I don't really worry about everybody else. Uh, that's one thing I kind of learned from Coach Saban. Um, as long as you compete with yourself and get better, um, then, I mean, you don't really have to, everything will, you know, fall in place and you don't really have to worry about everybody else. You guys have had running backs just through and through. You lose Richardson and when you lose Ingram, it's all good. So are you expecting another guy to just step in and do the same thing they've done? Uh, definitely. I mean, Eddie Lacy's a, a top back. Um, I mean, he's, he just got, what, put up for the Maxwell um, watch list. So, I mean, people recognize his talent. Uh, but we, I mean, we got a whole uh, depth chart full of running backs. I mean, you got Jostin Fowler behind him. Um, you got D. Hart. You got T.J. Yeldon, who's a freshman who's going to come in and play. So uh, we, we got a bunch of guys that can come in and run the ball for us. And uh, I think as long as Coach Saban's there and, you know, Alabama's known for running back, so uh, – I think we'll be fine. Hey, Jay, you know, you were talking about your thing on Twitter with Matthew earlier. Uh, your motto on Twitter is, you know, ticked off for greatness. Can you talk about where that comes from? And just, is that the attitude of the whole program? Uh, yeah, we kind of, like, took that saying in. Um, Ray Lewis talked to, I believe, Stanford before the um, the basketball tournament. And... Uh, and he, he, at the end, he was like, um, do you want to be mediocre or do you want to be pissed off for greatness? And that's kind of our, our saying, but we kind of, you know, took that and kind of made it ours. And then it, our, our other saying is, like, let's don't be mediocre, let's be legendary. Because I know my class alone has a chance to have three national championships out of four years, um, possibly four uh, out of five years. Um, for the ones that were redshirted, so uh, I don't think that we've never in the BCS era had a back-to-back -back national champion. Um, so that, I mean, that's a way to be legendary. I don't think any class in the history of Alabama has ever won three national championships while they've been there. So uh, there's so many steps to, for us to be legendary, um, and we can put ourselves in you know a whole another class and a whole another level. And uh, so I, I think that's what the team's kind of taken to this year. And uh, you know, we're really working hard right now, um, running and working out every day and uh, pushing to not be mediocre and be legendary. Do you like the rivalry being here in Louisiana? I know obviously Alabama Harbor is, is a rivalry that is a national rivalry, but because you all have been able to do some special things and because LSU has been so good, do you like the rivalry because of the ties with Saban and everything that has been formed between LSU and Alabama in recent years? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I definitely love the rivalry. Um, I mean, like I said, that's what makes college football fun. I mean, when you you pull up and uh, at the at LSU stadium and you got the LSU fans on each side, like tapping on the bus, shaking the bus, all type of stuff. You got little kids out there. I mean, that's what makes it fun. Um, fans get to be involved in the game a little bit more, like I said, rather than NFL. Uh, so it's definitely special. Um, like any, like I said, any rivalry we have, I and mean, we got a bunch right now. I think. LSU is probably our biggest ever since, you know, Saban's left LSU and then went to the NFL and now he's with us. So, uh, but it's definitely a, a special robbery and something I love, you know, looking forward to on, playing on Saturday. Southeast Louisiana has got to be a special place to you given what did you accomplished here last year. Yeah, uh, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I definitely headed this way when I passed through uh, New Orleans. I, I kind of smiled and took a picture just for – old sake but uh it's definitely special um you know it's it's something which I, I always harp on i don't ever really care i guess 
being at the age I am now, I guess when I look back when I'm older, I'll you know realize how special it is. But I just like the fact that my mom and dad and you know family members, my little brother, all of them, they all get to witness it, um, you know, from an outside view, which I think is pretty cool. Because growing up in the state of Alabama, I, I wasn't an Alabama fan, but my family they were huge Alabama fans, and that's you know every parent's dream growing up in that state is for your kid to play for Alabama, so it's definitely special.